Hi everyone, hope you're well. Welcome to Do Daily, Monday Motivation. It's Des here. I'm gonna talk about two things today. Firstly, Do Daily itself and what the channel's all about. And then I'm gonna talk about what's on my mind, a bit self-discipline going into the last quarter of the year as somebody who likes to use periods of time as accountability. Do you know, I think it's really important today with the way I'm thinking to say a few words about that. But like I say, first off, I just want to sort of talk about do daily and more importantly, say thank you to all those that have followed recently. It's building quite nicely and there's lots of people out there who probably think I do this for various reasons, <laughs> to make money, to be famous, um, for ego, you know, to, for whatever reason, you know, but what I'd like to say first of all is the reality is none of those are true, you know, because whilst it, I, I know it's a ongoing process, I'm trying to build it, I'm trying to get more viewers, more subscribers and all these things, you know, the reason I started this was to be honest and relatable and try and encourage people during the pandemic. As time's developed, that's changed a little bit. I realised how much it works for me, how much it keeps me on the straight and narrow, how I can sort of process my thoughts by saying them out loud sometimes. Do you know, it's still there to help people, um, help people think more than anything. Um, I'm not trying to preach, I'm not trying to tell anybody what to do, but I'm just trying to be a safe space where people can look in, see somebody else getting it wrong at times. Do you know, I'm not trying to be down on myself either. Do you know, I do get it wrong. I do so, sort of, I've got it wrong quite a lot in the past, but what I feel I am now is brave enough to pass on little sort of anecdotes, little stories of when I did, do you know, hopefully trying to help others come to a slightly better place. I've said many times through Do Daily, four or five years ago, I was in a really sort of dark place, you know, a place I thankfully could pull myself out of. And I'm, I did pull myself out of it. There's not too many I can credit for doing that, you know, a lot of it involved activity and running and sort of using that to get through it, you know, to get to a point. And then that sort of led me to people and then I wanted to sort of extend on what I'd done to help others, you know, and I don't feel guilty for that I don't feel bad you know it's something I've really wanted to push on and, and whilst there might be one or two doubters out there when people are watching and following whilst it is particularly nice you know it just shows that things are going in the right direction and that's all I can say about it you know I'm just trying to be honest and realistic I used to say relatable but I think I'm just being realistic because we're all different we're all unique We've all got our own sort of quirks and ideas about how things should be done. But for me personally, you know, it's just about sort of persevering, pressing on, you know, all of those superficial reasons, they don't matter. You know, and people can question that. That's absolutely fine. They absolutely don't matter. Do you know, because the one person who's taken so much from this is me. It gives me so much sort of, so much instinct, I guess, to, to go with things, you know, when to, to, to go with my thoughts, I listen to things, I, I learn things, you know, I put a lot of effort in, you know, I work hard at it, you know, I'm not perfect, I don't say things as they should be, and that's part of what I'm trying to be as well, I'm trying to be myself, you know, I, I, I don't do any sort of deep editing or, or, or try to eradicate some of my mistakes, if it's going particularly bad, for example, last Friday, the video on Unstanton Beach, it was absolutely chucking it down. The wind was creating havoc and it did interfere even on the final sort of version of what I did. Do you know, but again, it's just what it is. It's just showing no ears and graces what Do Daily is all about. Do you know, I get one or two comments here and there. People might look in and think, oh, well, he's doing this and he's doing that. Do you know, I'm just being myself. And that's all I'm trying to say, guys. But like I said right at the start, thank you for, to those that can see that. Thank you 
to those that like and subscribe. Do you know, there's guys out there who are supporting me with this, do you know, and it might not be many, it might not be, do you know, everybody's cup of tea. Do you know, to those, I, I just, I'm just extremely, extremely grateful that they see it for what it is, do you know, and like I said, I'm just trying to be that safe space where you can look in, perhaps get one or two ideas of how not to do it, use some of the things I do, do you know, particularly the activity, particularly running, do you know, to really give it a go. And that kind of leads me nicely onto what I want to say for Monday Motivation today. Um, you actually see, you might not recognise it, I've not been here for a few weeks, but I used to come here quite a lot on a Monday, and whilst generally the weather was better than it is now, it's really starting to throw it down. Um, it's somewhere that when I come here, it, it reminds me of all of that, what I've just said. Do you know, it reminds me of the things I do. I wouldn't say it's a happy place because it's pretty bog standard in all reality. But when I get here, it's almost like I'm going back to work. I'm going back to do what, what I've been doing for the last 18 months on a Monday, trying to set the week off well. I'm out for a walk. Do you know, and it's just reminded me after an absolutely amazing time where things have been sort of out of this world on another level. Do you know, the, the feeling of what's happened with lots of running events, with K, you know, with, with everything that's going on my, in my life right now, it feels like I'm getting somewhere, do you know? And, and that doesn't mean I feel like I'm winning <laughs> or I feel like I'm particularly sort of taking too much i'm just getting the little things that everybody gets if they sort of want them do you know and that's all i want from it is just to sort of get the things that that generally make us happy do you know and doing this really does that being out here really reminds me of what i do what i want do you know but what it's also reminded me today is that little bit of self-discipline needs to come back in do you know i've been sort of talking in the last few weeks about this fourth quarter of the year and how we can use it to be accountable to ourselves more than anybody. Do you know, it's important to, for me to set targets, do you know, in little clusters. I remember back to this time last year, do you know, I was probably sort of feeling a bit the same in terms of my physical health, whilst I'm absolutely riding on the crest of a wave, sort of mentally and, and with those things I've, I've spoke, touched on there, do you know. Physically, I'm not feeling fantastic. So it's just reminded me being out here somewhere where I've used to talk about Monday motivation quite a lot to give it a real go again. And there's something about this time of year for me where when it gets dark and wet and cold, rather than sort of hibernate, to you know, bury myself under a quilt, do you know, I want to get out there and do it. I want to make the most of every opportunity of daylight, you know, of getting in activity. Do you know, I've touched on a lot, even in the running, it's a bit cooler. Do you know, I use that whilst I might get um, wet through. I always say skin's waterproof, but it's about sort of finding every single positive in the situation. The photos I get at this time of the year are absolutely amazing. So on a Monday, do you know, when I talk about never missing it, it was important for me to do something like this, never miss it. You know, despite this horrible weather, I'm, I'm roaming around, filming do daily, getting in a walk, getting those endorphins going, I'm recording it on Strava, something I've not done with my walks quite a lot, just to sort of show that I can start building my, act, my activity again, do you know, and really sort of set about the things I say I'm gonna do. And when you've got that self-discipline, do you know, the confidence builds on top of that. It comes naturally from that. It's not, when you, when you haven't got self-discipline, when you tell yourself you're gonna do something and you don't do it, you know, you lose a bit of confidence. It's like telling somebody else you're gonna do something and then you don't do it. They lose a bit of confidence in you. So what I'm saying now is I'm gonna sort of set about all these routines, you know, never miss a Monday, you know, start working to these group activities again. I've got over that injury, so it's not all been my fault that I couldn't do it. Well, I'm getting over the injury, you know, so it's not all been sort of me not doing it and there's lots of other exciting things going on, so I've, no I've ignored it. But, like anything, you know, when there is lots of exciting things going on, we just have to weigh it up sometimes, don't we? We have to weigh up what's more important. Over the last couple of weeks, 
that's been more important do you know taking that little bit of time to do the things i have do you know whether i've been absolutely prepared in the best way possible is open to debate it's not really i've not been prepared but what i'm saying now is if i prepare do you know i'll get to a much better sort of position and i'll go again do you know i spoke about this time last year and not feeling fantastic do you know it, i really felt at new year do you know i kicked in do you know i went on a real health kick i lost a lot of weight but it was the preparation i put in do you know i was suffering a bit of illness and injury this time last year so i actually took a a, a prolonged break from running as long as i have or have about four to six weeks i took a break of not doing it do you know but that was the preparation that was the right decision it was the right thing to do to make sure that i was in a good position come the new year that worked what i'm trying to do now i'm in a slightly better position it's really sort of put those foundations in do you know by getting out on a monday using tuesday training you know a wednesday workout preparing myself properly for thursday thoughts and then waking up to walk it's been absolutely brilliant over the last couple of months but you know there's always room for improvement as well isn't there there's always room to keep going to keep trying to sort of better yourself and like us like i said right at the start i'm not going to apologize for that you know i know exactly why i do this you know even if it's chucking it down it makes me feel great you know doing the video makes it feel epic you know just like when i'm running it just add something to it you know and when i've got that sort of positivity and enthusiasm to do what i want to do nothing sort of get nothing gets in the way do you know and that's how it's been for the last 18 months on do daily we start the week in the right frame of mind you know really at it do you know and if you can sort of take one off on a monday get out there for a walk around the block you know around somewhere you know like i say i don't know what does it at this place for me it's not one of the nicest places I've, i ever visit it's not bad don't get me wrong but there's something about it that gets me thinking you know that makes me sort of click back into another time and sometimes that's just the reminder we need isn't it just to sort of realize what different places different people different situations do to keep us really at it and that's the message today guys once again thank you to everybody who's helping me build this thing you know without that kind of support you know it it would still be happening because like i say i take so much from it myself but without that support you know it would, wouldn't be quite what it is you know it's not the biggest youtube channel in the world it's not the most watched but do you know i've had a couple of nice um a bit of nice feedback do you know a couple of videos that have got lots of views compared to what i normally get but even that do you know for somebody who's determined to keep progressing to keep pushing on when you get there it doesn't mean what you thought it would mean it doesn't make you happy I'm not looking for instant gratification i'm looking to keep improving to keep planning preparing to you know keep doing the things i know that work and over all this time you know i've realized this is one of them attacking the week whatever the weather do you know and giving it a real go like the rain do you know form is temporary class is permanent I'm not saying there's any class about it because then that would make me sound egotistical what i'm saying is if you keep going you can only get better do you know it's not the time of the year to switch off it really isn't it's the time to get going if anything do you know if you can do it when the uh, elements when the chips are down elements are against the sorry and the chips are down you know you you prove you can do it any time do you know it doesn't matter what's going on around you do you know find that self-discipline do the things you have to do this week do you know plan them now put some targets in that's one thing i'm going to do today so if anybody's got any targets they want to work to this week drop them in the comments love to get some interaction going through that i reply to everything so if you've got a couple of little targets you want to let me know i'm going to drop mine in to check those out do you know and i'll be working hard at them to make sure i keep on pushing through do you know let's do this guys let's keep going do you know 
Brand new week, brand new quarter, the last one. This year's flown by. There's been lots to upset us along the way with all that crappy COVID stuff. But now that's somewhat, somewhat behind us. There's lots of things we've done, do you know, since the restrictions lifted. Do you know, all that excitement, that, all that buzz and excitement from fitting everything in. But it's the first week in a while I've had I've had it a little bit quieter, so I realise I've got to do all the things that help get to that position again. You know, I'm really, really looking forward to it. Hope you are too. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, like, subscribe, do whatever you've got to do. You know, but make sure you're really positive about what you're doing. You know, just just the here. That, that lady there just gave me a thumbs up, smiled at me. Do you know what? Somebody out in the rain doing their thing. It's absolutely amazing to see. Until Tuesday training, do you know, if you don't get out today, join us for that solidarity session. Check it out on all the social media at the end of today's video. Everybody's welcome to join. Whatever activity, whatever ability you are, do you know, just trying to add that little bit of accountability to really get you up and at it. If you fail to uh, get out today you know there's always that opportunity to use other people to use the do running community to make sure you're just doing it